starving people. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something I've never ever done before on my channel. I always film vlogs, but today we're gonna do a Q&A. So welcome to my Q&A. So I asked the people on my Instagram to ask me questions. I only got a couple, so it's gonna be shorter. But if you guys like this, make sure to go follow me on Instagram so you can ask more questions. Here we go, okay. So a couple of the questions are like kind of about the same thing. So I will try and combine them. But my friend Galila kind of carried this whole thing. She asked four questions. So shout out G, I know you're watching this. Shout out you for asking the most questions. So her first question is top three books of all time. If you don't know, I freaking love reading. Um, I, I'm not a nerdy person, I would say, but I love reading. So my first all-time favorite book is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna is top one. Uh, I would say my second one is Swimming to Antarctica by Lynn Cox. I met her. She's amazing. We have the same birthday. My mom and her talk all the time. She's an amazing author, amazing person. Love her. And number three, I would say it's either a tie for The Hate You Give and On the Come Up, both by Angie Thomas. Such amazing, amazing books. So good. So that's top four, but sorry. Also, before we go on, I want to show you what you look like. Like this tripod. It reminded me because it's all books and a mug. So anyway, <laughs> number question number two. Um, I got... What's your dream college, even though I know it's Georgetown? That's from Galila. And then what colleges are you looking at for my friend Ellie? So I'm going to kind of combine them. So I used to want to go to Georgetown. That was like my number one. My aunt went there. Like I wanted to do that. I wanted to do the nursing program. That's what my aunt did. But now I just cannot see myself being a nurse. And now I kind of want to do more in the photography, videography, marketing, communications world. Um, and... I think there are better programs elsewhere, which makes me really sad because I freaking love Georgetown. Like, I love everything about Georgetown. So, um, I would definitely say I'm looking at UNC Chapel Hill, Syracuse, and George Washington. I think that's what it's called. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, George Washington University in DC because they all have good um, photography programs and like marketing communications. They all have um, really good like arts programs, even though I wouldn't want to do full like art or anything. I want to do the more like not art photography, like more photography photography. That makes any sense. So yeah, those are probably my top three that I'm looking at right now. I wish Georgetown was still in the picture. It might be. I still need to look more into that, but I don't think I could get into Georgetown, but we'll see. Okay, next question. Who's your favorite person in advisory? This is from Galila, and uh, it's Galila because I've sat next to her for the past two years, and if we had class in person, I would definitely still be sitting next to her for the next two years because I love her. And then her last question is, should Hedwig make an appearance this Christmas for the one time. If you don't know, go watch my Vlogmas videos. Um, Galila does a really good Hedwig voice, like the guy from, what's, what's the movie called? Why can I not think? The thing with multiple personalities, you can't think of it. But the little boy voice, she can do it and it's really creepy. But yes, you should make an appearance for the one time. Um, the next question is, what's your top music genre? If you know me, you know, like, my music taste is all over. Because, like, one second I'll be like, oh, I freaking love rap. And then the next second it's, like, the most chill music. I love, like, really chill music, like, still woozy, surfaces, stuff like that. And then I also love rap. Um, but yeah, I would say I definitely like really vibey music, but also love rap, so I don't have a top. I couldn't choose. Um, Deja said, why are you so cute? <laughs> I'm not. Deja, that's all you. Um, there's these two. I have the same answer. 
um, someone said one place you want to live and then Ava said favorite travel destination. They're the same. France. I would want to live in Paris, but my favorite travel destination was when we did our French trip. So we it was exactly two years ago, like this past week, and it makes me so sad to see the pictures and videos. And I'm like, I'm here right now and I could be there, like, ugh. So um, we went to Paris for three days and then Nice, which is like Southern France, like beaches and stuff, so beautiful um, for a week. So that was like the best trip of my life, but I really, really wanna live in Paris when I'm older, so bad. Um, my friend Abby from work camp asked who's gonna win the cornhole rematch. And if you're talking about the one between you and Annabelle and David and Harrison, Sorry, but David and Harrison are going to win. And if you're talking about the one between you and me, I'm going to win that one too. Sorry. And then the last two are from Mel B, my favorite ever. Um, our first question is, who are you going to miss the most? Hint, it's Mel. Melanie, you don't know how bad I'm going to miss you. She is going to college. Um, luckily in the same state, but still five hours away so sad so sad she lives like maybe two minutes away from me like i go and walk to her house all the time or she comes here so that's gonna be actually so depressing i'm gonna miss you so much and then her last question or the last question is what's your favorite song right now let me look i love okay of course i can't pick one pack light by queen naja love queen naja so much um, or Queen Naija, <laughs> and I love Martin and Gina by Polo G. Those are probably my two top songs right now. Yeah, I would say that, but yeah. Oh, and what's it called? Not Fair by The Kid Leroy and Corbin, featuring Corbin. And just kidding, I'm back. So I'm stupid and didn't scroll up all the way. There's one more question and it's from Izzy, my favorite person ever. And the question is, where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I'll be, how old will I be? 16 plus five, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I'll be 21. Um, so I'll be in college still, right? Yeah, because I think I'd graduate when I'm 22. So hopefully I'm getting my degree um, in photography, like communications, marketing, and hopefully I made a ton of friends. I want to be like living in an apartment close to campus with a bunch of my best friends from college. Um, I want to hopefully still be doing YouTube and hopefully being successful um, and planning for long term, like even in the future, like doing internships, jobs, just being like on my boss girl stuff, um, really working hard to be the most successful I can be. Um, hopefully my manifesting my love life will work. <laughs> Maybe someone will be there. But yeah, I think just being hopefully super successful and happy, happy. That's the biggest one. And just like surrounded by so much love and friendship and stuff. And family, of course. So that's actually the last question. Okay, back to in the past Sadie for the outro. Bye. Okay, that's my q and I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope I was funny enough. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs. Um, I'm actually going to upload a week in my life pretty soon because I'm filming it. I filmed it this past week, but I am going to try to vlog a lot more and be more consistent. So stay tuned for that. Thanks guys for watching. Love you all so much. Bye.